Hello, hello! It's business partner P1 Plus, Unit 6 Entrepreneurs, Lesson 6.1 Fairphone Part B. We had in the last video this video here about the part A. Look, we had a video about Van Obas Van Abel the CEO of Fairphone, he talked about opening the company and releasing, launching the, the mobile phone. It was a very nice lesson because we talked about starting a business. Very nice, by the way. But today, if you are interested in startups, open your own business if you are interested in business partner obviously the course the book and if you are interested in growing your career with business english this video is for you so why don't you strike the like button and stay with us until the end of the video so let's get started we are here in exercise seven Complete the sentences using the words and phrases in the box. Do you remember what a business angel is? It's someone who helps a business, right? With money, funding. When you collect money to put an idea into practice, go out of is to stop doing something or pitch. Pitch is to offer something. Profit, when the balance between uh, what you spend money and what you earn is positive, you have a profit. Target market, who you are aiming your business to sell to or to work with, right? But look, we have here these six definitions better than mine by the way let's go and do the exercise look when you a business idea you say things to persuade people to buy something do something or accept the idea so when you pitch a business idea right why don't we take a look at a dictionary to understand better what pitch is Pitch. 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 From Oxford Learner's Dictionary, pitch is an area of ground. Mm, no, not this one. Of sound, degree, strength, to sell something. Talk or arguments used by a person trying to sell something or persuade people to do something. An aggress aggressive sales pitch. The candidate's campaign pitch. All right, very good. But there are other meanings. For example, a football pitch, an area of ground especially prepared or and market for playing a sports game, like a football pitch. Oh, you can say a football field or, or football court for court soccer, yes. But pitch is also a word. But here we are talking about we are talking about selling things, selling an idea, for example. If you make up, you gain money by doing business after your costs have been paid. So you make profit, right? You make a profit. Half of all startups in the UK business within five years go out of business. This is so sad, isn't it? A is someone who gives you gives new businesses money, often in exchange for a share of the company. Business angel. Yes. Money that is provided by an organization for a particular purpose is, is funding, right? A company is the customer's 
that the product or service is aimed at a company's target market. Oh, oh, good. So this is exercise seven in which we learned those words. But in eight, what do we have to do? Complete the questions with the correct form of the words in brackets. Let's take a look at the first sentence here. Where do you think is the best place to go to, to go to for about starting a business? You go for something, okay? About starting a business. Advice is here a verb, right? So you have the noun here. You need the noun in the gaps and all these are the verbs. So we have to transform the verb into a noun. How do we say the noun for advice? It is advice. You go for advice about starting a business. So let's go and do the exercise. We go for advice, right? About starting a business. Do you know the names of the, of Apple, Facebook, and Microsoft? Mm, do you remember them? Okay, so found is the verb, but here we are talking about people. So we are talking about the founders. Founder is the singular, but we are talking about three or four people here, right? Founders. Great. What are some of the difficulties of the fast grow of a startup like Fairphone? A fast, fast world. Grow, to grow is the verb, right? But here we have the noun, grows, okay? Maybe you don't know, but there's a company in Brazil called Growth Suplementus. Mm -hmm. Look, Growth Suplementus shows whey protein, many other things. <laughs> the growth, because it's for people that go to the gym and want to have very good growth in muscles. All right, but let's continue with the lesson, right? Let's check here. Oh, okay, let's go to number four. Apart from crowdfunding, where else can entrepreneurs go to for finance backing? Well, backing is some help. People that will help be behind the business, making the startup go forward. So here, finance, to finance is the verb, but here is the person or the entrepreneurs go to for financial backing. Financial backing. Do you think that Fairphone is a good to invest? But we need the noun. For the companies, back. Back here is the verb, but we are talking about the people. Who are the people? The people are the backers. Oh, backer. Yes, the people that are back the business. So uh, uh, an angel or a, a business angel is a backer because the person is helping the business to go forward. So a good investment. Investment for the company's backers. And it's in the plural because it's not usually only one, right? And six, do you think entrepreneur, to entrepreneur, 
talent is unique to some people. What do we have here? We have entrepreneurial talent. Oh, because it is the noun, but here it's working as a adjective, right? Entrepreneurial. 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 Right? Did I write? Did I spell them correctly? Seems that I was correct. So, good job. Let's move on. The idea here is for us in a live lesson to talk about these questions. I really like this part of 6. Point or point 0.1 lesson because this is 6.1, but there was this in 5.1, 4.1. There's always this part B of the exercise with wonderful questions to talk about. This is like we can talk about these questions for 6 minutes to 20 minutes to half hour because they are really good ones. So where do you think is the best place to go to for advice about starting a business? Do you know the names of the founders of Apple, Facebook and Microsoft? What are some of the difficulties of the fast growth of a startup like Fairphone? Apart from crowdfunding, where else can entrepreneurs go to for financial backing? Do you think that Fairphone is a good investment for the company's backers? Why or why not? And finally, do you think entrepreneurial talent is unique to some people? This was exercise eight. Very, very good one for us to talk, to practice our speaking. But we have some extra activities on vocabulary. Let's practice a little more the vocabulary of the lesson. Bank account, demand, launch or release, mining, sales, source, supply chain, and waste. And here we have definitions. Eight definitions for these eight words and phrases. The idea is for us to be able to do this exercise by ourselves. So I'm going to read the definitions and give you some time to complete. Obviously, my time that I give you is for you to pause the video and try to do the exercise. And after that, you play and see the answers. Okay? So, match the words and phrases below with the definitions. Number one, the total number of products that are sold during a particular period of time. An arrangement in which a bank keeps your money safe so that you can pay money in or take it out. Start something, usually something big or important. Obtain something, for example, materials from a place. The sequence of processes involved in the production and distribution of a product. The need or desire that people have for particular goods and services. Unwanted material that are left after you have used something. The work or industry of getting gold, coal, etc. out of the earth. All right, so if you want, you can pause. If you want, you can print five to eight, one to four, and you can pause the video and try to do. And now let's see the answers. The total number of products that are sold during a particular period of time is sales, right? Easy. An arrangement in which a bank keeps your money safe so that you can pay money in 
or take it out. Bank account. Three, start something, usually something big or important. Launch. Ah. Four, obtain something. For example, materials from a place. You are sourcing material. Okay? The sequence of processes involved in the production and distribution of a product is supply chain. Very good. The need or desire that people have for particular goods and services is demand. Are there is there a demand for videos talking about business partner? I believe so, because of this, I make these videos and I hope you like the videos and you like the video in YouTube, by the way. Unwanted materials that are left after you have used something. It's waste. Reduce, try to reduce your carbon footprint. The work or industry of getting gold, coal, etc. out of the earth, mining. Good, very good. Excellent. So this was very interesting. But we have more. Look, do the quiz to check your vocabulary from this lesson. How does it work? We have six here. Give money to a business in order to keep it develop and be successful. What's that? You give money to a business. You invest money. Someone who starts a new business often in a way that involves financial risks. Someone. Who's that person? The person is an entrepreneur support someone or something especially by giving them money or using your influence you back that person or that project start a new business you set up a new business a new company often high-tech Easy startup. Someone who establishes a business. That person is a founder. All right. And now we have that wonderful thing. So I'm going to go out and come back. And yes, here. An increase in. Yes, an increase in size. Growth. Persuade people to buy something, do something, or accept an idea. Pitch, right? Getting money for a new business idea by asking many people to contribute, often on the internet. It is crowdfunding. Money that you gain by selling things or doing business after your costs have been paid. It is make a profit. Profit. Someone who gives a business money often in exchange for a share of the company. Business angel, a backer or an investor. Right? When someone has to close a company because it is not successful, they go out of business, right? Very nice. Excellent. But as usually we do, we finish with a project. And this project in this lesson is a very nice one. Why? It's a very good one because it is setting up a business. We have to create a company in this project. Imagine how interesting it is. Look, we have here six people, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
creating a new business. They're talking about that. Let's see. We are going to work in a small group. Imagining, imagine you want to start a business together. Follow these steps. Let's see what is involved in doing this exercise. We should decide on your business. Use the ideas in the table if necessary. Well, we can use and create a tech company or a non-tech company with services or with products or we can have our own idea. Imagine opening a language center, mm, selling, uh, selling products on the internet. What would you like to open? What kind of business would you, are you interested in? Well, let's see. After we decide, but let's take a look at this table here. An app to arrange car sharing. Car sharing for long journeys. It's like carpooling, right? You go with other people. Up to find restaurants offering gluten-free food. Oh, that's nice. Or non-tech, ironing service for busy people <laughs> in big centers. That's a good idea. Personal trainer who comes to your home or place of work. Wow, that's nice. Or products. Smartwatch with lots of interesting features. Virtual reality video game. Oh, cool. High quality handmade leather bags and shoes. Device to put over your mobile phone screen so it's easier to read it in the sunlight. Oh, that's a nice idea. What could it be? Something that you put here and it's dark, your mobile phone with that? Strange, imagine you're walking. Well, I don't know. You tell me what it would be, okay? But after these ideas, or your own idea, think about what types of consumers might be interested in buying your products or services. The target people. And how will you get financial backing for your project? What let's list a thing or things that we could do to get some financial backing, asking parents, crowdfunding on the internet, going for a business angel, some backers, uh, going to a bank or other ideas. Present your business idea to the class, vote on the best idea. Well, can we make a PowerPoint presentation to show our business and how interesting it will be because then we can get financial support well this is the lesson the lesson has plenty of speaking since the beginning where while we can talk about these sentences and especially about these questions here and finally the project. I really hope you enjoyed the lesson because I enjoyed making the video very much. So if you liked, do that, please. What is it? Strike the like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you really, really liked, you could simply buy me a coffee. And Get ready for the next videos. See you then. Bye-bye.